This is licensed by Nintendo product. And this is official, not bootleg. Can I tell you something? If your parents said you could only get one of these guys, if you want the Mario or Luigi, I would suggest Luigi. Everybody likes Clive. When people meet Clive, they like him. My name is John Cavetta, and I'm the father of an athlete. His name is Clive Cavetta, and he is eight years old. and He is my one and only, and I love him very, very much. When I first heard about um, my son p potentially being diagnosed, when he was about two years old with autism, I, I've, I don't think I'd ever been so sad. To find out that there's anything that's short of what you think you're gonna get from your kid, it's hard. We, we want everything to be what's best for our child. And I think that, um, to, that to know that he's, he's only been on Earth for two years, and that he already is, is being put in a position that is gonna be more challenging than maybe his peers, I think that right away, that was, that was hard to accept. We became member, you know, family members at the zoo, and we went there. And my son was so excited, and he was ready to get in there, and he's about four years old, and we went in there, and it just, it was too much for him. We made it about 20 feet into the first building before he couldn't go any further. He was, he was pretty quiet at first. Then he got kind of loud, and people are pulling their kids away and walking on. And People have pulled out their cell phones and, hey, look, mother of the year, and things like that, and it, it's horrible. That was the moment that I knew, I was like, <laughs> this isn't a diagnosis, this isn't a, we think your son is autistic, my son's autistic. And then the beautiful thing that came from that is it created in Jenny and I a determination that we weren't just gonna hide in our house. You know, we knuckled down, we turned our tickets into a membership and we were like, we'll be back tomorrow. And we got, a couple feet further the next day. And by the end of that summer, he might as well have owned the zoo. He was running all over the whole place. But we had to give him his space and his time to adjust and adapt to what he was comfortable with. Special Olympics is actually very important to our family and it is becoming more important. We joined a family, we joined a group, a community, and it's, it's offering a lot more than just uh, sports fundamentals. It's nice because it's not just a community for Clive, it's a community for us and it's support for us. It just lets us, you know, spend time with other adults who, who get the struggles and who know some of the tricks and the resources that we haven't encountered yet. And just, we can grow with it as he gets older and his needs change, you know, we have those resources and those connections. What's most important to see my son he doesn't have to age out. He doesn't age out, and it is gonna be something that he can have literally for his whole life. I might stand Special Olympics for the rest of my life, so then like, I'm gonna get tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of medals. The most awesome part about it was seeing my son compete, but almost as amazing was just seeing all those other athletes. I would say if you were considering joining Special Olympics to just do it. You know, get your feet wet. You might not know if it's for you, but it probably is because it's just such an open-hearted group of people. They meet you where you're at and they encourage your family member to just do the best they can. If you join, you might make a lot of friends like me. You should join Special Olympics.